This is Vahe Gregorian for the Kansas City Star. Ten years ago Saturday, Buck O'Neill received the devastating news that he would not be admitted to the Baseball Hall of Fame. But the grace with which he handled it was a major part of his legacy, a legacy we still see all over Kansas City today. The latest form is in the soon-to-be-open Buck O'Neill Center, an extension of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum that he co-founded. I always go back and I think about Buck as being one of this nation's greatest educators. He was a teacher that wasn't a teacher by trade. And so this is a natural extension to create an education and research center that will certainly perpetuate his memory. And he had such great passion for learning. And I think that is one of the things that drove him. It kept him alive is that he took great pride in the fact that he challenged himself to learn something every single day. And so I think that's why he lived such a fulfilled life, to get to 94 and, you know, the quality of life that he enjoyed for so long. And so this to me is a natural extension of what Buck represented. And this will be the lasting legacy for Buck O'Neill, certainly the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, which is the house that he built. But then this extension that will bear his name will give people an opportunity to be touched not only by his spirit, but by the principles and the values that he lived by. We set our sights to create this curriculum. And of course, I mean, baseball lends itself naturally to math and science. It gives us an opportunity, as I said, to take the life lessons, those things that stem from the Negro Leagues, but apply it to some things that are happening in, in the lives of people today. We're fortunate that we didn't lose this building. Yeah. Uh, and so thanks to the late Landon Rowland, God bless his soul, yeah. yes. uh, he purchased this building for the museum and donated it to us so that we could start that second phase of development. Remember, all the old wives had the gymnasium with the track oh, that yeah. ran around oh, and yeah. you, could, you couldn't shoot a jumper from the corner, <laughs> you know, uh, at least not with any art. You can see why we think that there's going to be a renaissance here at 18th and Vine. And, and we're, we're really excited that the Negro Leagues Museum is at the heart of that because we've been here as long as anybody. You know, we set sight here in 1990, so we've yeah. been doing this for 25 years here in an area that, you know, people wanted to give up on.